I'm Denise Waterman for South West London Television and it's all very exciting here in Southfields today because the lights are about to be switched on for Christmas. So it's a very important night, there's lots going on. We've got music, there's choirs, there's food, there's a great atmosphere and it's not like it's a little town at all, it's like being in a village. It's great to see you all and uh, give a massive cheer to Southfields and to the switching on of the lights tonight. Go for it. So it was Kylie Minogue, I think, in Oxford Street, and, <laughs> and luckily for you, you, you got to be here. We're very proud to just see something like this today. It's fantastic. And I can assure you at the club, uh, we're very proud in trying to be part of your community and hope that you feel we're part with you. This is Dan Bloxham. He was in charge of switching the lights on. What an honour for you. A lot of pressure there, a lot of oh. pressure there. Yeah, I think my head teacher never would have believed that I'd switch some lights on anywhere, but actually it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Well, you can put it on your CV now. Yeah, light switcher honour. I caught up with you maybe two or three years ago when I was chatting to the Ball Girls. Yeah. The work that you were doing then has really grown much bigger because I know you do a lot of stuff with children yeah. at schools. Yeah, we're, uh, well, we're crusading really in Merton and Wandsworth we're at schools every single day of the week there's something happening with the All England Club so really we're trying to really support local schools in in sport really and obviously our sports tennis because we realize uh, you know in society now there's not enough sport played so we're trying as much as we can to go into the schools work with the teachers we invite some of the kids back to a new facility at Rains Park so we're really activating a lot of kids a week probably I would think 500 kids a week play with us which is uh, every week a phenomenal thing to do yeah no it's fantastic and, and this is all support by the Wimbledon Foundation? Yeah, uh, the WHI is part of the foundation, foundation is part of the All England Club, so it's really when you uh, do the ticket resales and things, that's the money that goes into the, the foundation and that's what we try and do the, the good works with. So why we've got the, the lights switching on today, because we've uh, obviously sponsored for this to happen at, yeah. in Southfield. So it's a nice position for the club to be in, but I think we truly like being part of a community uh, and I know the members love it. We had an AGM yesterday and they were delighted to hear about all the things that uh, we get up to. Well, it's been a phenomenal success tonight and I heard on the grapevine that you came straight off a tennis court to come here tonight. Yeah, I was having a little uh, hit with Graham Lasso on the indoor courts. It was so hot over there and I came bombing down here and actually I'm freezing now because it, my temperature's dropped. But no, it was really good. So I literally ran from the court, went to switch the lights on, but there actually wasn't a switch. It was a slightly interesting thing. But anyway, I think we survived. Well, look, they could have got Kylie Minogue, but they were lucky, lucky, yeah. lucky and they got you. Indeed, indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Much. Pleasure. Thank you. So amongst all of this madness here in Southfields, I've managed to catch up with Helen Parker from the Wimbledon Foundation. Hello. Hello. What an amazing evening this is. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? I think it's about six years that we've been supporting the Christmas lights here in Southfields, and it's a nice way for us to... I guess just be part of a nice local community event at this time of year. And what exactly has been going on this evening, just so we get a bit of an idea? Well, I think um, there are probably about a thousand people here this evening and over the past few years it's really built up. Yeah, a few years ago when I first came to the event there was a few hundred people here um, and so it's just grown a lot actually. And over the last, um, through 2017, the Foundation have been helping in a lot of different ways. What have you been doing? We do all sorts of different things. So in our local community, the two boroughs of Merton and Wandsworth, um, we have a number of grant making programs that we run, helping to improve residents' health and well-being, uh, meeting local community needs, getting people active who wouldn't usually take part in sport or physical activity. Um, and we have our coaching team that go into local primary schools every, uh, every week during the school term. So what have you got coming up for 2018? Anything interesting, exciting? Yeah, so in 2018, actually in February, we're going to be launching our next round of the Get Set, Get Active Fund. Um, so if people are part of a local sports group or a community group that's engaging with people and getting them active, getting them taking part in sporting activity, they could potentially apply for funding to the Get Set, Get Active Fund. Well, you heard it here now. Don't miss out. Get your application in now. Thank you. Thanks. This evening is a definite success. There's so much to see and if you've missed anything, make sure you're here next year because I guarantee you'll have a good time.